Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day, guys. It's almost there. <laughs> Weekends is almost here. Uh, if you are jo just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to our daily live streaming. Um, some of you think that, hey, how come you do daily live streaming? You know, I mean, I know a lot of YouTubers out there, they only make about one a week or so, maybe twice a week or depend on the channel. But, you know, I mean, this channel is kind of like somewhat unique. And the reason why I like live streaming because I make coffee every single morning. Okay, I make pretty much I point the camera, not, not even camera, I'm still using iPhone 8. Okay, I know some of you out there, I'm kind of like about three years behind now, three or four years behind technology, but hey, it comes to making coffee, pretty much the same. So that's what we do. Uh, and then we usually do a lot of product review. You know what? I don't want to say product review. I'm pretty much I show you guys in live, uh, in live session so you guys see for yourself. So let's find out if this is the item you guys might like to use. So like for instance, we are going to play with the puck screen this morning again. So I think I showed you guys yesterday this puck screen. So I've been uh, putting it in here to like uh, warm it up here, heat it up. So either, because you, you wanted the puck screen as hot as possible. So I'm just gonna flush with my shot glass. So this morning, uh, let's do ice Americana, okay? I have the ice water here. So let's put a great shot of coffee, the espresso, and then uh, let's make some ice Americana because it's really, it's 75 degree outside and goodness, it's 91% humidity, it's pretty hot, okay? By the way, I have no kids in the house at the moment because everybody back to school. I'm glad about that. And then obviously my wife is driving the kids around. So uh, if, you, if you have any questions there, uh, let's see here, you can ask me after, okay? Because I, I'm looking at the computer right now. People are already asking me a question. And, uh, okay, so Kala, again, Kala, I'm still waiting for on my Instagram live, okay? I'd love to have you on. Carla P asked me about uh, what, what's the difference, what difference does puck screen makes? You know what, I'm gonna show you, okay? Definitely I'm gonna show you, if you, if you missed the video from yesterday, but yeah, I'm gonna, definitely I'm gonna show you shortly. And uh, let's get going, okay? Let's get going. Uh, by the way, make sure to press like on the video, okay? Good for my ranking. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna be using, uh, I think I, uh, yesterday I used the 18 gram, so this morning it's gonna be exactly the same setting. My grinder setting at seven, so I'm gonna be everything everything same, but I'm gonna go up to 19 gram this morning. Uh, if you ask me why, just because, okay, just because. So there's no reason behind it. I mean that's the great thing about the making you know coffee at home. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm gonna be pulling about 19 gram here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, okay, so Carla say waiting for me. No, no, Carla, I'm simply, I go live streaming on my Instagram. I love to have my viewers on, okay? That's it. I love to talk to you guys in person. Maybe you can show us your copy bar setup. You know, it's kind of like, it's, it's a lot of fun, okay? I've been pretty much have a lot of people on, you know, guys, past the year or so, I think I have like over a couple hundred people on my channel, so that's kind of a good way to get to know, you know, all of you, so. It's a lot of fun on my Instagram, uh, not Instagram live, okay? And you can just press the join the chat. You can join us. And then we do a lot of show and tell, you know, show us your coffee bar setup, talk about your favorite coffees and stuff like that. So it, it's a lot of fun, okay? A lot of fun. I got 19 gram here. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put the grind some coffee beans.
I mean, Bravo Brista Birting Grinder, as you know, not the best. Okay, I'm just gonna top it after that. Okay, and then again, whatever I use the bottomless pore filter, always use the WDT tools. Okay, just make sure. Go through your WDT tool, declump everything. Yeah, you know what? It's nothing like freshly roasted coffee beans. It smells fantastic. Man, it smells great. So I'm using, again, so I like to use one uh, bag at a time. So I'm still using the, the Good Brothers coffee here. Uh, it's called Mexican Chipas. Tasting note is uh, chocolate, nuts, and honey. Okay, chocolate, nuts, and honey. I'm just gonna prepare the puck. Just make sure to shake it. Do the distribution here. Do the temp. And then after that, you put the puck screen on the top, okay? So I'm using the 19 gram. So I put the puck screen on the top. You know what? You may not, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's gonna work because, so this is it. So is this 19 gram. I put, this is 18 gram, but I put 19 gram on it. The reason why you wanna check the depth, if not, it's gonna be the, the shower screen going to hit the, the puck screen. So this is a metal mesh, so. You know what? It, it may not work. Okay, I think I put too much in it. Okay, so that's make sure if you are thinking about getting the puck screen, make sure you get the dosing amount right. Okay, so again, I think I put too much there. So in this case, I'm just gonna take the puck screen out. Yeah, you know what? I have to redo this. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna take some coffee beans out. Do not try this one at home, okay? I'm doing it way wrong here, but yeah. Unfortunately, I have to. I'm, do, I'm just gonna take some coffee beans out. I mess everything up. You know what, I think I'm gonna redo it, okay? I just waste a good, again, because you don't wanna put too much coffee beans if you're using the puck screen. Make sure you remember that, guys. If not, you are going to ruin, ruin your shower screen. So the reason why I tried this because I was hoping to get more extraction out of it, but yeah. So you gotta use an 18 gram, okay? Just to make sure you have to check the razor tool to check the depth after you put the shower screen on. Okay, I'm just, meantime, I'm just gonna clean my puck screen. Let's do it one more time. Yep, Anders says fail. Yes, it is fail. You know, again, I mean, this is a great thing about the live streaming. I mean, you guys want to see it, okay? I know some of you out there, very polished, edited video. If you are that kind of person, okay? You, you can still watch this video, make sure you skip it, okay? If you're in a live session, I mean, that's, that's unfortunately, you have to stick it around, but you can come back for that, but yeah. If you are watching this after the fact, just skip the boring section. Okay. I'm low on coffee. I think, but I do have a couple more bags waiting for me right now. So, okay, I'm just gonna do 18 gram. There we go. So we have just enough for one. You know what, let's, uh, let's try the retention on this one too. Okay. Since we are here. Okay, here we go. It does take a while. So we got 18 gram in. Let's find out how many grams we got out of. So you got 18.4 gram out, okay, which means we have some coffee beans from earlier. So again, if you are looking for 
perfect, you know, zero retention coffee grinder. This is not it. Okay, this is not it. So, but if you are looking for, you know, making a good coffee every morning, good coffee too, you know. I don't know about great coffee. It does a really good job. Okay, I'm just going to shake it. Make sure to shake it well. WDT. By the way, is, uh, how many of you actually thinking about overloading the puck screen? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Or buy one. But if you are thinking about getting one, uh, don't buy yet, okay? Don't buy yet. I'm planning on doing the in-depth uh, comparison on Saturday, more like Saturday morning. Saturday morning. So I'm going to be comparing with my Bravo Vista Pro. Bravo Vista Pro has the, just the stock screen right now. So yeah, just make sure watch that. Make sure check out that video before you pull the trigger. Okay, I'm just gonna go here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the puck screen back on. Just make sure you have the right depth. Okay, that's the key. Man, you know what? I did an 18 gram on this. I'm still, you, you see the gap? It's not deep enough. Okay, so having said that, I'm, I'm not going to mess with it this time. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to pull the shot. Yeah. I'm just going to pull the shot. Because which means I need to use about 17 gram instead to use the, this puck screen. So, all right. So we got uh, 18 gram in, I'm gonna have a 36 gram out. Okay. I'm just gonna, sh let's see here. Where is my flashlight? Here I go. Hold on. Let's flip around. So this is a regular shot. That's it, without the puck screen. Looks good. Okay, that's channeling there. Yep, there we go, goodness. Man, it's a mess. Okay, it's about 38 gram. I mean, I like the ratio. The ratio is good. The one to two ratio is great. And then, but again, the Bravo Vista Pro give you uh, about 14 bar pressure from the top. So in the beginning, you're gonna see the nice extraction. And then once you, the puck is getting wet and go through, the waters go through easier. So you're gonna see a lot of channeling. So that's why you're gonna see that. So, but anyway, let's make some Americana. There we go, just simply ice and ice water. Just mix it. This is it. Especially day like this. Man, what a morning, okay. Cheers. Okay, good. Very nutty and chocolatey. I don't know. I don't know. It's about chocolatey, in a way sweet, but you have that depth. Very smooth, well balanced. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the puck screen this morning, but because I don't want to dial it in another time. But so I pulled two shots this morning. So with using the puck screen, you have this beautiful puck. Okay. It's great. So let's see the without the puck screen. Okay, without the puck screen, actually it's stuck on the top. Yeah, do you see this? Uh, it does happen time to time. That's pretty normal. Okay, as you can see, the puck is stuck there. The best way to do it is I like to just 
press the button, you know, just a single shot button. That's it. So this is what we get. It's not bad, still, you know, compared to you, the puck screen is nice and dry. With, uh, without the puck screen, it, it, it gets wet. It wet and yeah, it's not the best comes to puck screen quality. But the fact is, as long as the coffee tastes good, who cares, right? All right, so let's see here. Uh, I'm looking at your questions right now. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is a good time to ask me. Okay, so look like, uh, hold on, man. Nine bar pressure from my friends from Middle East for sure. You got, hold on. So John say Americano is his favorite drink. Hold on a second. How many coffees do you drink a day? I and mean, that is a pretty common question for you, you guys. Uh, two, that's it. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm not like, uh, some people drink like three or four. I, I don't know how they do it though. Okay, so what your favorite beans for your Bravo? I don't have a favorite beans yet. Okay, just uh, make sure, but if you're gonna get one, just make sure you get the medium roast. Some reason medium roast is a lot easier to work with than darker roast on your brother, so make sure to do that. And then Justin say he drinks two and wastes ten. Justin, I do not waste coffees. Okay, I always recycle those. So that is big lie there from Justin. Okay, he definitely he missed in from you guys. Okay, do not listen to him. All right, what else? Mike say two. And the three, let's see here. Okay, so again, uh, this Friday, we're gonna be doing the rear comparison, okay? The rear comparison uh, about puck screen. So we're gonna dial it in just right, and then we're going to compare that with without the puck screen, uh, and the with, with, well, without the puck screen or with puck screen. So hopefully after this week. So let's find out, okay? Let's find out, is that worth getting? But if you are looking for the clean puck and clean shower screen, okay, so right now, my shower screen is pretty dirty, okay? So whenever I use the puck screen, obviously it's protect from it. So you're gonna always have a clean puck there for sure. No, clean the screen for sure, or clean shower screen. All right, let's see here. And Eric say he drinks two in the morning and then two more, goodness. You know, once you're getting older, man, I mean, my caffeine tolerance is like, it's not good, okay? Yeah, that's not good. All right. Kara P asking me about this puck screen helps the coffee flavor. In theory, yes, because it gives you that even extraction. But you know what? I cannot tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference there. But it definitely helps with the bottomless pore filter though. But again, the reason why we are doing this, we have this all kinds of gadgets, a distribution tool, and because everybody wants to use, not everybody, but I know a lot of you out there use the bottomless pore filter, okay? If you have a right, uh, if your distribution is right, you're gonna get a perfectly beautiful shot. Looks great. I mean, if you guys like tech photos, Instagram, or if you have a YouTube channel, you want that, you know, perfect shot of, you know, shot quality, sure. But, you know, how many of us are out there, you know, actually, you know what, I want the coffee with the no channeling. If you're using the spouted coffee pour filter, no one, you cannot tell, okay? You're gonna get a perfect shot every time, so don't worry about it, all right? So don't worry about it, so. So it's not the, uh, hold on. Again, it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change much. I mean, if you cannot, if you, if you other person has an incredible the taste bud, if you can, if you can tell the difference between the beautiful shot with the evenly extraction versus uh, spouted uh, pore filter, yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to have you on my Instagram live. Ask you about the coffee. It'd be great. Okay, hold on a second. We have some. Is a bottomless, you got, 
clones, oh, hold on, see, the bottomless filter, same weight as a stock, uh, actually it's lighter, okay, bottomless is obviously lighter, it's less weight, you know, let's, you know, let, let's see, okay, I'll give you the exact number, hold on a second, so, let's weight the bottomless pour filter here, okay, so this is the bottomless pour filter from Crema, uh, Crema makes pretty good uh, bottomless pour filter. So let's weight this. So this is about 340 gram, okay, 337. So this is the Bravo pour filter, 360. So obviously, you know, you're gonna have a more weight to it. So it's definitely heavier, the spouted one. And the fact is, you know what, I prefer spotted ones because with the bottom less there's no protection with the heat so you you know because with espresso you want to be the hottest possible yeah so i mean i my personal choice is the spotted but with if you don't learn the a shot if you're trying to refine your technique with the distribution i mean bottom less is really great tools to have okay so you, you know you're going to see make sure your distribution is correct uh, make sure you declump everything properly. So here's the kicker though. We are dealing with an uh, entry-level machine, okay, Bravo Brista Express. So the grinder is not the same as the F64. So, I mean, right now we're trying to, you know what, we, 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 we're trying to squeeze out of every bit of this machine to make, the, make a great shot. So, I mean, it is, I mean, it is a lot, okay. The color piece, say, I don't think a lot of gadget doesn't. Yeah, I mean, color, you are absolutely correct. Okay, so it's just a gadget. Okay, only tools you need is, in reality, just the regular temper from Bravo. Okay, you don't have to get a distribution temper. Okay, so this is the San Anthony Industry uh, temping tool here, uh, 53.3 millimeter. Okay, precision. Okay. And they're compared to just regular Bravo, just a 53 millimeter. But the 0.3 millimeter make difference in flavor? Uh, maybe not. I think, yeah, maybe not. It's, again, it's all about tools. Okay, it's about hobby. So people are, people want to just make good coffee. I mean, I showcase a lot of tools in my channel because I'm, I'm a gadget guy. I, I love tools, okay? I love tools, I love playing with. But if you, if you care about the just good coffee every morning, skip, skip this, okay? Only thing you need is, you know, I, I do recommend 3D dosing funnel, okay? That's it. You don't even need a tamping mat. Just put the towel down. And you don't even need a distribution tool either. You just need a, uh, so this is like must items. Okay, this is must. But you don't need all those tools to make good coffee. Okay, we are talking about good coffee, not great coffee, but if you like to have some fun with it, it's all about the fun, okay? It's all about the having fun with making your coffee, making your workflow. So, I mean, that's why Coffee Channel exists, okay? I mean, if, we don't care, if, we, uh, if people don't care about the coffee, you know, having fun with it, nobody's gonna watch Coffee Channel. They're gonna buy the machine, and they're gonna learn how to clean, okay? First of all, people watch my channel for how to clean, how to descale, that's it. And uh, that's the most of us out there, 99%, more like 95%, more, more like 95% of my viewers are just want to come to my channel and how to clean and how to maintain the machine. But that 5%, there are you guys, okay? You guys are the, my, my viewers, okay? You guys are my, you know, my community, only 5%. I mean, you guys are one, you know, interested about the tools, you know, what's out there, uh, you know, again, I mean, I don't take coffee seriously, but at the same time, I really enjoy, you know, you know what, it's, 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 it's about fun, okay, it's all about having fun there, so, uh, speaking of gadgets, uh, don't forget the San Antonio industry, the 15% off, okay, I'm going to put the coupon going down below, simple, HUN15 for the coupon code for that, for San Antonio industry, only one item there, okay, and then, so, and then what else, uh, as you know, we have a standing discount from Good Brothers Coffee there. 
25, 27% off for that as well. And don't forget the Fella uh, coffee products. Fella makes this wonderful vacuum container. Make sure you use my uh, referral code HUN10. Okay. Uh, you, get, you guys are going to get a 10% off whenever you use my code. And also I get a small commission out of it too. The referral fee. So make sure you use that code HUN10. Okay. It's going to help me and help you guys as well. And then what else? Uh, puck screen. 10% uh, okay, from the Etch store. So it's okay. 10%, uh, you know what? I, I prefer 15 to 20, but by the way, I mean, I get no, I get no sponsor. So I don't do sponsored videos on my channel. I, I love to get a sponsored videos, but my channel is not big enough. Okay, so hopefully someday we're gonna get some real sponsors there. But yeah, hold on, so, uh Justin asked me about the, my uh, kitchen. I have to go up to what 1,000 subscribers, Justin. So I have to build my. So by the way, if you are new to the channel, I have another. Uh, cooking channel is called Hoon's Kitchen. Okay, Hoon's Kitchen. So if you haven't subscribed to that channel yet, make sure go do it. So because uh, I I love to go live streaming live streaming on the, my cooking channel as well. So it, that's a lot of fun because my uh, coffee and my cooking is my passion. So make sure subscribe my Hoon's Kitchen channel and also Instagram as well. Let's see here. We have uh, anonymous has question too. Okay, so. Anonymous said, I personally can see San Anthony, Black Party, worth really 350 bucks. Again, it's, it's, I mean, it's about, it's about how, much you, how much you are investing in your coffee hobby. 350 bucks is a lot, okay? I mean, Carla, yes, Carla say right, 350 bucks is ridiculous, right? It is ridiculous because coffee machine it's only 500 bucks. I only spent $500 on Bravo Barista Express. And I told my wife a couple of years ago, I, I want to spend $350 on tools. She's going to divorce me. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's, I mean, it is, it is expensive, but you guys know the Pullman. Okay. It's called Big Step. The Pullman has, a, they make just a temper. Pullman have a 53.4 millimeter precision temping tool that costs about almost two hundred dollars so it's all is all relative so yeah it's all, it's all relative so you know if you have the money i mean if you love coffee sure why not okay why not go out there and enjoy yourself uh by the way so far we raised uh five hundred and three dollars on uh paypal super sticker and what else super chat as well so so far we raised it's been, we are kind of like stuck at the moment, guys. You guys need to step up here. All right, so we are going to use that money to uh, buy our next machine. Did I say uh, our next machine? Because I, I love to get that machine to compare that with uh, Bravo Brista Express and Pro. So, so I'm gonna show you guys in live session that you guys are going to see for yourself is that worth upgrading from Bravo machines? Because again, my channel is pretty much about Bravo. I know some of you out there have uh, fancy machines. I know Mike has a uh, Bianca and no, Mike has the Rockets and then Dane has Bianca. I think Ed has like uh, Lydia Mini. I think we have a lot of fancy machines out there. So it'd be nice to show you guys the, the real comparison between entry level machine versus the high end machine. So, I mean, my, I mean, so that case, you guys are going to see it. You know what, is that worth Whatever you're watching from the other, you know, other channels, the comparison, I feel like something's missing. Okay, I feel like I, I wish they want to go in depth, but I mean that's why my channel is more like, I mean, I, I want to dig down deep. Okay, dig down deeper. That once I finish with the videos, kind of like you know, number of videos after that. Oh, you know what? I think I have a good idea about products. Okay, products or gadgets or whatever we have. So, okay, so, so Carla asked how we will compare the machine. You know, it's going to be a side by side, Carla. Bravo machine here, new machine here. We're going to do side by side. And then we, we're going to do the comparison between, you know, the shot quality, taste. Comes to taste, uh, subjective, okay? But 
as long as uh, I'm the one tasting it, it should be, you know, I mean, because I know what I like, what I don't like about it, about the taste. So at least we have the, some kind of baseline there. So, but again, I, it'd be fun to have some of you joining us. I know some of you are going to join us for the, my uh, studio, my uh, shop. So I'm going to have someone to, you know, local people join us. We're going to do some blind taste. Uh, it's going to be fun. Okay. All right. Hold on. So I'm looking at the uh, uh, questions here. Okay. Marilyn say, love my grinder. Jose. Hold on. Okay. So... Okay, Jose, we are going to uh, compare. Uh, so we are going to try my uh, puck screen this afternoon, okay? My shop. So we're going to play with the Rancho Leo. So my afternoon session, Wednesday is my Rancho Leo Serbia. Thursday is uh, Rock, okay? That used to be Fla uh, La Paboni. La Paboni, kind of like I moved to the side for now. I'm going to shout out to Rock Espresso. So we're going to do the Rock. And then Friday, still gonna, we're going to keep the flare. And then Saturday, obviously, we're going to figure something out. But yeah, definitely, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to be live around, I don't know, uh, around, around 1 o'clock-ish, 1 to 2, maybe. Okay. Uh, and then, let's not forget my GB, okay? GB all in one, okay? So we, got, we are going to play with the GB as well. GB is one of those machines that has a built-in grinder with a pour-over, the automatic pour-over machine. So it's all in one, three in one. So... Uh, we are going to play with that machine upcoming week. So we have a lot going on, guys, okay? That's the great thing about making coffee. And, but I'm running out of space. That's why my, I do my daily live streaming in my kitchen here, but very limited space I have. That's also something you have to think about that as well. If you are looking at buying a new machine, how much space do you have? You know, unless, okay, unless you have a big kitchen, big you know space to make your coffee bar i mean th this is it for me right here so th this is my coffee bar so this is where all my uh, i make all my videos okay so let's say here okay someone asked me hold on i'm looking at the question here uh th in china okay i wonder that person has questions yep Richard, Richard is right. Never enough space. Okay, we have some, man, we have some, we, have, we got some friends from China now. I know we have some friends from Singapore. We have a lot of friends from all over the world. So this is great. This is fantastic. Okay, so Jose, yeah, Jose, definitely we're going to go live streaming today because I miss a few days uh, this week, so. And the Carla asked, will you open up the machine to compare them? Of course, yeah. Uh, when I get the new machine, we are going to, yep, we are going to compare as well. Definitely. Uh, Carla, which machine you have at home? Uh, what, what is your coffee bar setup at your house, Carla? Let me know. Let us know. Okay, so let's see here. I'm looking at the questions. I think, uh, let's see here. Why don't you consolidate your viewers? Hold on uh singapore i'm you know what uh oh, okay bravo barista express carla has bravo barista express they're a fine machine okay i mean i think that's the most that machine has been around for a long time they haven't upgraded much but that's why the pro model is an upgraded version of a bravo barista express but unfortunately the pro did something right and you know something wrong they use the thermal so Bravo Barista Express uses a thermal block, which means everything is hot, okay, after like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Everything is hot. With the Bravo Barista, uh, Bravo Barista Pro, they're using the thermal jet. So it never gets hot. Doesn't matter if you warm up for one hour, because they're shut off automatically anyway. But with the thermal jet, press the stop, uh, power button, starts it off in about three seconds, and you start making coffee. The one, one downside is, Everything is hot. So we're going to talk about that on Friday as well. Oh, but maybe Saturday or Sunday. So again, I mean, that's the one thing I'm not that crazy about Bravo Booster Pro. You, you never get to warm up your machine. That's why you got to do a couple dummy shots there before you make coffee. 
We have a humble pup. Do you like shot from your flare or there's no comparison, okay? The flare is a manual machine. A Bravo Brista Express, Bravo machine is semi-automatic, has a PID. Yeah, you cannot compare with the two different shot. But if you dialed in just right on flare, but we are talking about the temperature, you, you have to put some work into it. Okay, if you dialed in just right, the shot is better than this one. But 99% of the time, I prefer this one. Uh, but prefer Bravo over flare. But my flare setup is only about 150 bucks. 150 bucks versus right now they're selling for 699 right now on Amazon. So it's different. Okay, you want to spend six, seven hundred bucks to get an express machine, or spend about 150 bucks, you get an express machine. So it's all depend on you guys. So. All right, okay, hold on a second here. I think flare price are going up. Yep, uh, the flare, if you want to get a flare, flare 58, that's 450 bucks, okay? I went 450 or 470. So it's getting up there as well. Man, coffee machine is not, we are talking about coffee machines. I know some of, my first machine was cost me 30 bucks, a Mr. Coffee. And then now we are talking about 500 or 5,000 dollar coffee machine. So it's, it's kind of, it's, it's different. It's, it's a different time. Okay. So Justin is selling. Okay. Justin is selling for 50. What? Justin, are you selling your coffee? Your flare? Okay. Let me know. Okay. All right. So let's see here. I think we are good this morning. Okay. Okay, I think we are good. Uh, okay, okay. So Mike selling uh, his Flare Pro Two. Okay, and then what else? We got Kevin say Sylvia Pro. Okay, Sylvia Pro. I I have a regular Sylvia. Uh, regular Sylvia is a single boiler. Sylvia Pro is a dual boiler with a PID. They are fantastic for the price. Okay, they are only about sixteen hundred dollars. So the price is good. And then with the rocket, uh, Apartmento is about $1,600, but their heat exchange machine, they're really good too. So once you're willing to spend about $1,500 and up, you're going to find some fantastic coffee machines. Don't get me wrong, okay? Bravo machine is fine, but if you, you want to up your, you know, game, let's put it that way. But again, it's not $1,600. You have to get a grinder, match with the grinder as well. So if, if you spend $1,600 and then you, you need to spend about another five to $700 on grinder. So now you're up to well over 2,000. Compared to 700 bucks right now. Okay, or, you know, during the holidays, you can get one, this one for 500. So yeah, so let's not forget the grinder, okay? Make sure grinder, get the good grinder if you're planning on upgrading your machine. All right, so, Hans say R58, okay? So right now we have three top contender for this channel. R58, Little Bianca, ECM, Synchronica, okay? The reason why I don't put a decent express motion on it, because they are like $4,000. So because I, because I wanna keep under three. So hold on a second, we got Marilyn say R50, Hanse over budget. R9, he said, what is R9? I wonder if that's something, something new. Okay, R58 is on sale right now. So again, I mean, we gotta, I, I need to raise about another $500, okay, for our channel before we're gonna pull the trigger on there. Hold on. Okay, so Justin say, decent is the iPad with Bravo machine on it. The Bravo with the iPad, because uh, the uh, decent uses the the vibrator pump instead of a rotary pump. Vibrator pump is the same pump as it was inside the Bravo or Rocket Apartmento. So the pump is the same, but obviously they have a, you know other things involved. But yeah, uh, let's see. Carl, I say, what about the dual boiler? You know what? Yeah, dual boiler is great. Okay, but but I want to go a little higher. Okay. 
because yeah dual boiler is fantastic machine i mean if you have the money yeah dual boiler make sure you get the good grinder though okay but but i want to go a little higher end so i, I want to see the difference in the quality of shots let's put it that way okay so all right so bk asks if you're gonna spend by okay you sure yes you can buy two dual boiler dual boiler is about 1500 bucks right now okay 1500 dollars and then carla say i will never spend three you mean three thousand yeah hey carla you're right okay o only reason i'm buying it because i'm i'm helping uh i'm help from you guys because i mean i can't I, i'm not going to spend three thousand dollars on any machines so yeah but with your help yeah we are going to get something you know something nice for the channel that's it because i know you guys see me with the bravery machine all the time so let's spice it up a little bit all right let's see here good nick has hold on what nick say hold on nick has well where can we get the screen uh i'm gonna put the link down below okay i'm gonna uh you, you can get get from etsy okay uh you can use a 10 percent off coupon code as well hun 10 we get a 10 percent off on etsy store i'm gonna put the link for that as well so but i mean if you if you want to show about this one i'm going to be doing the in-depth testing on it this weekend if you guys really want to buy this make sure watch that video okay so we are going to go really deep dive on this one so we are going to find out is that really worth buying so so far i've been using it for three days now just the having the clean clean puck alone okay clean pack alone that's worth 20 bucks i mean that's what i'm saying i'm just saying there is a uh, anonymous uh is a uh, how does a little leg compare to a mento i'm not sure i never used those machines before okay but i know a lot of you out there have a mento at home so i know mike has one he loves it he loves the apartment I know what Thomas has a uh, Bianca man he loves that too so yeah how many mic uh, microns in the puck screen you know great question okay I don't have an answer for that but I bet you their website does okay if you go to Etsy store they have uh, more detailed information comes to micron you know it's not that fine I think yeah it's not I'm hoping I'm, I'm trying to get B plus puck screen the big plus uh, puck screen is a more finer than this because the, the reason why I got this so I want to slow down the pressure from the Bravo Breeze Express the 14 bar pressure okay the puck screen does help but that's why if you have a Bravo Breeze Pro you may not need this okay so because of Bravo Breeze Pro give you about what uh, six bar six to eight bar pressure so it's a lot more stable okay got Carlos has a Crema one uh let's see the dual boiler yeah Crema one's pretty nice too yeah they got you know again if you if you're willing to spend about 15 to 2000 man you're gonna have a great machines okay okay Ender makes uh Ender mentioned about the change the OPB yes yeah, so you can change the overpressure valve on Bravo Bruce Express the reason why I don't want to do it because I mean most of you out there have a Bravo Bristol Express I don't want you to mess with uh, overpressure valve on your machine okay I know we have a uh, Ender he's uh, our in-house expert at tinkering things Ender is great at it he loves fixing things but yeah I mean personally I won't recommend you guys to open up the machine and mess with internal tube and wires yeah okay so let's see a Carla say big difference between 15 and 3000 of course sure if you guys are thinking about getting a dual boiler get it they're amazing machine okay I mean even James Hoffman loves that dual boiler so because uh, he, he knows what he's talking about yeah James has yeah I think James did a great review on those machines okay i think we are good this morning it's a lot of fun okay it's a lot of fun just i mean answering your questions i usually my wife doing the moderating 
So, but yeah, is it kind of like fun to look at your question there? You got a lot to say. Okay, that's great. Okay. Again, just make sure if you are new to the channel, make sure join the chat with people. We have great community. Our, you know, our friends are, you know, friendly. We only talk about coffee in this channel. Okay, nothing else, nothing more. So you just talk about coffees and how to make better coffee. Yeah, it's just, we just have fun with it. Make sure following me on Instagram too. We have a great group of friends in Instagram as well. So yeah, just have some fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. And uh, if you guys are around, uh, join us later this afternoon. Uh, we are going to play puck screen. I'm going to install, uh, I'll play with my Rancheria Serbia. Okay. All right. And the caller say, stop watching if $3,000. Okay, Carla. I mean, please watch anyway. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a great morning and see you guys next time.